Today, I will share with you five free Mac apps that will upgrade your Mac experience. And I'm sure that after watching this video, you will see exactly why. Let's begin with the app Boring Notch, available on GitHub, by the way. Boring Notch adds dynamic island effect from the iPhone 14 Pro to the notch on the MacBook. And now let me show you how it works. Now, once you have Boring Notch app installed, just hover over the notch with your mouse. And here you should see this beautiful animation expanding the actual notch. Here on the left, you will see your music player. On the right, you will see your battery charge. And here you also have settings. And now if you go here to the settings, you guys can go here under the general and you can also enable cool face animation while in activity. So if I enable that, you guys can also see this face animation on top of your notch. And on the left, you will also see your media player, which is really, really cool. Now, this app is actually in very early stage because for example if i go here under the huts you guys will see that this customization is coming soon even for the downloads you guys can also see that this is also coming very soon as well as the shelf so all of these features are coming very soon to this application nonetheless it's open source application and also free to use now here under the battery settings you guys can also enable show charging indicator and also show battery indicator so this is pretty much it how boring notch at the moment works i think it's a great alternative to some paid applications which do similar thing but are way more complete in terms of features so yeah this is pretty much it for the boring notch application and by the way guys if you are interested in this wallpaper you guys can go and check it out by clicking the first link in the video description the next app brings a few useful windows features to mac os like the ability to hover over an app to see its preview and and an improved alt tab function that shows the application window, not just the icon, which we usually see when we press command and tab on the Mac. And now let me show you how dog door app actually works. So once you have dog door installed, you will see this icon in the menu bar on top. Now, without opening the settings, you guys can just hover over any app you have in the dock. And here you will see a slight preview of the application, just like this. Now, if I hover over the application with my mouse, you will also see this menu or these buttons right here. So you are actually able to maximize, minimize, close, or even quit the application from this simple menu on top. Now, if we go here to the settings, you can also go here to window switcher, by the way, and enable it just like so. Now to enable it, you will have to restart the dog door application, click on OK. And after that, you guys can go here to the settings, click on the window switcher, and you guys can pretty much set initialization key to control option or to the command. I have it set here to the option. So right now, let me show you how improved alt tab function actually works. Now, if I click here on option and tab, you guys can see that we have this slide preview. We also have here the buttons here, the same as on the preview, which we don't have if we press command and tab, we only see the icons. But if you click option tab, you only see the preview just like this, which I think is very useful. If you have multiple instances of the same application, then you can pretty much see all of the windows right here and easily select it from here. Now, if I open settings here, you guys can go under the general and the two important settings, which I think you should definitely change. The first one is window size. So this one right here, you can pretty much set to large. And this is how the preview looks like right now. I usually have it set mine to extra, extra small. So something like this. Now under the appearance, nonetheless, you guys can also change this traffic light buttons visibility. For example, you can also select here to always visible. So when you hover over the application, you will immediately see those buttons. But I have pretty much this setting set usually on window hover full opacity. This is pretty much dog door application. Moving on to the loop app, which adds user friendly window manager to the Mac. So right now, let me show you how it works. It's easy and very simple. Let me just open one of the application. In this case, Art. you guys will have to hold down the globe key. And 
And here, when you have loop app up and running, you will see this radial menu. Now you guys can put your mouse to whatever position you will want to have your application, for example, at the bottom right, and then just release the globe key. And this is pretty much it, how it works. But this is not all. You guys can also drag the window, for example, to the left of the screen. And here you will see a slight preview how the window will snap to the corner, or in this case, to the right side of the screen. And now let me show you how the settings look like so if I open the loop application you guys will also see how many of the times you actually looped for example here under the about you guys can see that I have looped already 489 times here on top you will also see that you can also unlock custom icons for this application so in this case I have here only 11 loops left to unlock icons so if I do that right now just like this you guys can see that I just unlocked a brand new icon, this one. And you guys can also see that it immediately changed here in the dock. Then you can go here under the accent color and change that to gradient, wallpaper or system. Then you also have here this radial menu. You guys can also disable it and only hold down the globe key and you won't see the actual radial menu. You guys can then just hold down the globe key and put the application to whatever position you would like to. However, I do like this slight indicator to see where I put the application. Then we also have the preview. For example, you guys can increase the padding to let's say 10 pixels. Then you guys can just hold down the globe key and you guys can see that we have this slight padding around the application. But I pretty much have this set to zero. Now under the behavior, you guys can see here that you can change animation speed from smooth to fast to instant. I have it pretty much set to smooth. Then we also have this option window snapping, which I should showed you before then down below you can also see that you can also enable your own trigger key which is by default set to left globe key but you can change that to whatever you like and then you also have pretty much your all of these key binds which are set by default and you can just click on add here and you will be able to add your own key bind which you pretty much like or find useful this is pretty much it how this application works and you can also download this application on github as well. Now let's talk about clip grab. If you've ever struggled with downloading YouTube videos using web-based downloaders cluttered with ads, clip grab is the solution you've been waiting for. This free app allows you to easily download videos from platforms like YouTube, Vimeo and Dailymotion without the hassle. Plus it lets you convert videos into various formats including mp3 for audio. Simply download the app from their website. I will leave every single app linked in the video description down below by the way and once once you have it open here you will see this simple interface now let me just show you how it works here if I go to YouTube and search for tech enthusiast we can for example just copy link address and clip grab it immediately gets the link which you copied from YouTube for example so you don't have to command NV to the clip grab interface now once you've done that select your preferred format so for example if you only want the audio you guys can just select mp3 here and for video you also have here some of the settings you can go up to 1080p 60 but i believe if the videos are 4k then you can also download 4k videos as well and then just simply click grab this clip button and this is how you download videos using clip grab and finally we have transmission one of the best free torrent clients for mac os if you frequently download or share large files transmission is lightweight fast and easy to use it provides a no-nonsense interface while still offering powerful features like encryption, speed limits, and peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. Best of all, it's open source and it's completely ad-free, making it a great choice for anyone looking to manage torrents efficiently. And it's really cool that it's also supported on many other operating systems, just like Windows. You have also option for macOS and other Linux distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, and many others as well. Here on their website, you guys can also 
download add-ons. So if you want to add something to the transmission client, you can also do so by just downloading from here, just like uh, browser-based remote controls. Then you also have here other remote controls here as well. And you can also add browser add-ons as well. So yeah, this is pretty much it for transmission, a really secure, free and open source torrent downloader. So this is pretty much my list of five apps that will upgrade your Mac experience. Let me know in the comment section if you tried some of them. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. And you guys can also check out this wallpaper by clicking the first link in the video description below. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.